Brethren, so long as we live in this world, we can avoid trials and temptations. So long as we live in this world, there are things we must suffer. Don't get carried away by miracles. Signs and wonders don't supposed to carry us away from the truth. They don't supposed to distract us. Make up your mind. If it means suffering for the truth, to enable you arrive at the master's feet, please do. This is not the time to give up. This is the time to wake up. This is the time to be strong. For there is no more time. Time has run so fast. You can't afford to remain there. I can't afford to look back. Jesus himself is going to wipe all tears from our eyes. If there is no suffering, if there are no, if, if there are nothing to endure, why would Jesus wipe away tears from our eyes? Let me tell you, I've made up my mind, and I also want you to make up your mind that no matter what, you are going to get there. Do you love your life so much to the extent that you shrink it from death when the necessity calls for it? Do you love your life so much that if your salvation is placed on one side and your physical life is placed on the other side, do you love your life so much that you will withdraw it and say, no, I don't want to die now. I remember the dream of a matter I had. This song came into my head and I was singing it in the dream. For all the saints who from their labors rest. We shall all rest from our labors. The time is coming when the Lord Jesus will tell us, well done, good and faithful. I've seen so many evils going on in the world. I've seen so much oppression. This world is not our home. I know it is not our home. This world is sinking before our very eyes. Some of us are too blind. We can't even see. Some of us are so blind. How can you stop serving God because you have no husband? How can you cast away your faith? How can you throw away eternal life because of children? How can, now I see youths in Nigeria who have given up on life, even Christians. Many of them are now ritualists. Some of those who are scammers, many of them are ritualists. They have so much given up on tomorrow because of hardship. Even we do free training and empowerment. Many of them are not interested. We started adult class for video editing free of charge. Free of charge. You're not paying anything. Only one adult concluded the training, completed the training. Only one adult. Society is so rotten. People have so much given up. Nobody wants to endure anymore. People have so much given up. Today you see a lot of people donating money in church and you don't know the source of their wealth. Many of them, many majority of our youths today have put their hands into different kind of evil things. Many of them have been raised in church, but they have given up on their salvation. What is that thing that is making you to give up? Why don't you just assume that no matter what happens, I assume this world is my hell. That's what I told myself. I was born poor. And in my poverty, I said, God, if you bless me, I will give everything away. And I do it today by the grace of God. And I tell God, God, I have not even started. If you bless me, this is what I'm going to do. I'm not going to live a luxurious lifestyle when everybody is dying around. People, I see children going into prostitution. I mean, young children on that age. They are prostituting themselves. Some people are stealing because 
they can't eat. A lot of people are giving up on their faith because of hardship. Don't give up. Listen, before the Father, we have no excuse to give up on our faith. We have no excuse to give up on our God. Don't give up on eternal life.